Thank you so much for sitting down with me today. I love the movie. So how are you Thank doing? Thank you. Thank you so much. I'm doing well. Thanks. So, so I noticed that you did a lot more writing and, and producing on TV shows and stuff like that. So And now this is like a Netflix movie. Can you talk about the, the collaborative process and, and transitioning to doing a directorial debut for a, a Netflix movie like this? Yeah, I mean, you know, Allie and Randall and I have known each other for a while, so that was super fun. We had that short of shorthand going in um, in terms of, you know, the kind of story they wanted to tell and the tone that we were going for. Um, and so it was kind of an easy transition a little bit because we knew each other. Uh, and then also, like, for me, you know, show running and creating TV shows is kind of similar in a way to mm -hmm. directing a feature film because it's... It's kind of about like world building and you know introducing the tone and the characters and everything like that. So, you know, it was a nice, uh, nice sort of segue in. Yeah, and with I, I interviewed the cast previously before this. They all said because I asked them, would you ha rather have a director that gives too many notes or not enough? And they said that you kind of had the perfect balance of in the middle. Is like if you needed to, you let them go, but if you needed to say something, you would step in. So how was that like just with um, letting them, letting them do improv or letting them fill the characters out? How did you go about doing that? Yeah, well, it's so nice to hear. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, because you you want to leave room for improv and any sort of like kind of magic to happen on the day you know you've, you've got the script and everyone's worked really hard so you want to make sure you get what's on the page but then it's also you know when you see it on its feet and there's stuff that occurs to people you want the freedom to be creative mm -hmm. you know you never want to stifle that certainly in a comedy and certainly when you're working with such talented actors you know it'd be like a waste right. like why would I not let Ali and Randall and Daniel Day Kim and you know Keanu and everybody you know improv and I noticed, like, uh, within this movie, there are a couple of different themes, like trying to go away from leaving home, like trying to, to figure out a, di a lot of different stuff like that. Can you tell me, like, what the most important messages you hope come across in this movie that people take away, whether it be, like, don't be afraid to shoot your shot, like, tell the person you love them that you love them, like, something like that. That's it, you know, and I think it's also, it's like, don't be afraid to shoot your shot, <laughs> but also, like, don't be afraid to be who you are, even within a relationship, you know, it's like, the two characters that Allie and Randall play, they're each very distinctive. They have their own sort of agenda and issues. And it's okay to come together. Like one person doesn't have to like become more submissive to the other or give up or you sort of diminish themselves so the other one can shine. It's like you both can shine. Um, and you know, I, I feel like in 2019, like that's the message yeah. I would love to get from my rom-com, you know? Yeah, it, that, it, that's exactly what it was. And I told them earlier, like, I love rom-coms. I'm not the biggest fan of them, but I, by the end of the movie, I was sitting there, I was like, wait, is this a tear on my face? What's, <laughs> what's going on right now? Like, what is this wetness? Like, yeah, what, what's, yeah, what's up? I, I, I truly enjoyed it. And so Thank do you. you have any particular advice? Because there are a lot of film students out there. I know Ali and Am Randall both went to USC. And do you have any advice for like upcoming aspiring directors? Or, or showrunners for who, who are trying to make it into the field who might have their first feature directorial debut? I mean, I would just say, I mean, be as lucky, you know, if you're lucky as I am to like work with super talented people, that's always a bonus. But, you know, just uh, know what you want, you know, be very clear, but don't be so rigid to not allow other people to contribute. Because I think if you have the right partners creatively, it'll just elevate it and make it even better than, you know, you thought it could be. I mean, it's it's collaboration and you know, you you definitely want a vision, but you you have to have room for fun and and to improv and play around. And so what was the the decision to to bring Keanu Reeves in? How did that come about? Like why why did y'all pick him out of like who like were there any other considerations or was it always we needed Keanu? Well, I mean, he was like the dream. You know, it's like that thing where it's like you're just sort of like, "All right, let's just put who, we don't know if this is possible or whatever, but we're just gonna put in like who we would, you know, ideally love. And then, you know, sent it to his agent, and then we heard that he read it and he wanted to sit down. So we met with him, we talked about the character, he had so many great, funny ideas, did a rewrite, sent it back, and then he was like, yeah, I wanna do this. And so, you know, we were lucky to get him like in his John Wick window. Mm -hmm. I think he like wrapped like New York and was gonna go to Morocco or something. We had like the five days. Yeah, it's funny that know. it's right. It's like riding the like the John Wick just came just, just came out just came out yeah. and it's like riding the wave. There. Like y'all kind of giving them a little bit of promo that y'all got y'all created a whole song for them and everything. So I thought that was cool. <laughs> and uh, w with that, do you have any um, particular? So you've done you've done the directorial debut now. Yeah. Do you have any other? Would you rather do a, like a similar type of movie to this, or for your next project, would you rather do something completely different? from this in the future? I feel like, I mean, it would always have some element of comedy in it, but I definitely think maybe 
not a rom-com right away, but something that's interesting in the same way that this was, and just unexpected. I'm just looking for something that, you know, that's challenging and I've never done before. All right, so I got a couple quick questions for you for would you rather, do, are you down to play real quick? I'm down. All right, so would you rather your, your childhood crush tell you that they loved you like super late or would you rather just not not know at all? Like let's say they like told you way too late, like what, what would you ha rather have? Would, did I, would I still have a crush on them at this point? Mm, maybe. Okay, because that, you know, if I did okay. still have a crush, I would not want to know, because that would ruin my life, you know, because mm -hmm. I'd be like, wait a second, I'm trying to not be with this person, but oh, wait, they're back in the picture. If I didn't have a crush on them, I would want to know, because I'd be like, oh, that's so sweet. Like, oh, I remember back in the day where I also had a crush on you, but now I've moved on. Yeah. So I'm not trying to ruin my life, <laughs> you know, that's the whole thing. <laughs> so would you rather have, um, would you rather direct something that's an original material or, or do something that is already screened, I mean, adapted from another source of material, like a book or something? Uh, it's, it super depends. Like, I don't have a preference either way. Like, it just depends on the story um, and whether it's, like, compelling to me or interesting. And certainly something I've never done before is always a big draw. All right, so would you rather have a, a lot of money and a short amount of time to do filming or a short amount of money and a lot of filming time to for your project? A lot of money in a short amount of time. Because, like, we'll, we'll get that Red Bull going. We'll work around the clock. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, whatever. We have money, so we can afford Red Bull. All right. And this is kind of more of an actor side, but I want to ask you this as well, because they all found, the other cast found this hilarious. So would you rather be asked to sneeze on command, <laughs> or would you rather be asked to cry on command? <laughs> uh, I would rather be asked to, I would rather be asked to sneeze on command. Because I feel like I just get some pepper, mm. you know, and just like make myself sneeze or something. Like crying on command would be rough. It is, yeah, because you got to get into like a yeah. deep place. Yeah. I don't know how the actors do that. I mean, there's there's a trick that the actors use. I don't know if they've told you about it. No, they haven't. It's like this, like this thing that blows in their eyes. What? Yeah. So here's a little behind the scenes. Okay. These actors won't tell you because they're like, oh yeah, I'm so accessing my emotions so easily. That's not it. You have this thing. <laughs> so it's like if we're in a scene and then you're supposed to cry, we'll be doing the scene and then I'll have somebody run in, blow this thing in your eyes and it'll take a second and then your eyes will start tearing. What? Yep, that's it. And then I'll be like, okay, let's resume. Just take it back two lines and then now you're crying. Wow, well now, so, I all right, so, Hollywood. Sorry lies. actors, sorry guys. <laughs> Well, Cats thank, out of the bag. thank you so much for sitting down with me. I love the movie, and I can't wait for more people to see it. Thank you so much. It was a pleasure. Thank you.